Welcome to the Crimson Daily. Today is Thursday, February 16th. Remember students, there is no school tomorrow, Monday or Tuesday. Enjoy the five-day weekend. Lunch today, nachos with cheese and meat or breaded chicken sandwich. Now for a look at the news. The next Tech Club meeting will be on Wednesday, February 29th at 8 a.m. We will not meet this, this week or next. If you plan to attend the February 28th Science Night at Chesty Elementary, please return your permission slips to Ms. Robar sometime today. Welcome to Moe's. Tonight is Little Mill Night at Moe's. Eat at Moe's tonight and place your receipt in the black Little Mill bucket at the cash register. A portion of the receipts collected will come back to Little Mill. Thank you for supporting our partners in education. Eighth graders attending Precise Central High School next year. If you are interested in sideline and competition cheerleading, there will be a mandatory parent and student informational meeting on Wednesday, March 1st at 6.30 p.m. in the Precise Central Cafeteria. Trials will be March 20th through 23rd in the arena. All paperwork, including a physical, is due March 13th. You can contact Coach Edwards if you have any questions. Also, 8th graders who are attending Precise Central next year, yearbook ap applications are due next Thursday, February 23rd. If you are interested in applying, please see Ms. Gula or Ms. Mundy for an application. The LMMS golf team will have tryouts on February 23rd and the 28th. Please plan to join if you are planning on trying out for the golf team. All golfers will need a current physical to try out. Tryouts will be at Countryland Golf Course. Students, stop by the cafeteria next Friday, February 24th, for a mystery breakfast smoothie. Guess the ingredients correctly and have your name entered into a drawing to win an iTunes gift card. You must purchase a smoothie breakfast to win. FBLA members who are working on their pins for the middle level assessment program can come in at 8 a.m. on Tuesday and Thursday mornings during the month of February. The deadline for program submission is March 1st. A new feature of our news broadcast is a student spotlight section where we will feature some of our students who are involved in doing amazing things outside of school. We'd like to give a big thank you to Ms. Satterfield and her class to make this happen. Our first student spotlight is Colin Edwards. Taylor Crowley in interviewed Colin to learn more about his passion for lacrosse. Here is what Taylor learned. Seventh grade Colin Edwards began playing with lacrosse when he was seven years old. Inspired by a friend's brother, he decided that he wanted to continue because he liked the compet competitiveness of the sport. Edwards spends most about seven hours a week practicing the sport. His biggest accomplishment in lacrosse came when his team won the Ashenville Lacrosse Classic in Ashenville, North Carolina. Edwards says the mindset he feels is most important in developing his passion is 100% accountable. He stated, in order to feel the ball accurately and shoot accurately through the goal, I have to be prepared mentally and physically. Great job, Colin. Next week we will feature 6th grade Madison Brooks and 7th grade Kaylee Steinfield. Students, do you have a talent that you think is worthy of being showcased on our new student spotlight? See Ms. Satterfield before school to get your name on the list. The focus of our mindset lesson this week is thinking positive. Think positive, be positive, and positive things will happen. Thanks for watching, Little Mel. Have a great day.